everyone, I am Zoe. Welcome to my channel where we are doing another local thrift haul. So I go to the thrift store here in my hometown weekly, so I've picked up quite a few items since last time, but this time I decided to bring you with me on one of my trips, so let's go treasure hunting. All right, so you come into the kitchen stuff and then the crafts and sewing. Then we move on to the kids section, which is always worth checking because look, I found these women's Canadian made sweatpants. I didn't get them because they looked cropped. So then we go into the women's pants section where I found another pair of these Y2K American Eagle jeans, which I left, but then I found some beautiful guest jeans that I picked up. Now we're moving on to women's tops where I found most of my purchases. Look at this beautiful black blazer. I have three black blazers, so I left this one. There was a lot of Hollister and Abercrombie shirts. This beautiful cold shoulder sweater from Zara that I left behind. And I kind of regret not getting this cable knit from Gap, but I have enough sweaters, you'll see. And there was this super soft plaid shirt that I didn't need and a cute little Tommy Hilfiger sweater that I think was actually kids. And then I found this soft black knit sweater that I just had to have. I also found this plain long sleeve for t-shirt cutting. You can see my slap chop I picked up. And then I found this cute little bomber jacket, but it was like crappy quality fabric, so I left it. Okay, a few more shirts. I found this really interesting strappy one shoulder top with lace on the sleeves, but it was exactly my skin color, so I didn't think it would look good. Then there was this beautiful tan thick knit sweater, but it was way too big. Then this last shirt was a super soft waffle knit button up that I just had to get. I thought it would go with everything. Now we're moving on to the men's section, which is always worth checking because look, they had silver jeans. Now I found this cute floral flats, but they were sadly too big, but I did find these Converse looking sneakers in my size that I took with me. All right, so I'm back at home with all of my items and many, many more. <laughs> uh, what I'm going to do this time, instead of just trying on each item, what I'm going to do is style each piece like I would wear it in real life. Now, let's just take a second to appreciate my outfit today. I bought this dress years and years ago at the exact same thrift store. So the first piece I picked up are these beautiful nude ballet flats. They're not perfect. They do have a little bit of wear just on the end of the toe. So I think I might paint them, but I do like the fact that they're nude and ballet flats are really in right now. So I'm excited to grab these two bucks. The second ones, which you saw in the thrift with me, are these Converse looking shoes. They're not actually Converse, they're from Ardeen's, but you may have noticed they had some scuffs when I picked them up. I just washed them off and they're perfect. They look brand new. I actually have a pair just like these and the soles are coming off, so I'm so glad that I found another pair for $2 in my size. The next piece is this beautiful floral shawl. I don't know if you can tell, but there is like a metallic sparkly thread all throughout. So it does shimmer. And I think I would wear this to a music festival, like over top of a little black dress or maybe some black shorts and a tank. I just think it's a really pretty flowy item. And I love the fringe on the bottom. But in real life, day to day, where I would probably wear this is on the beach as a beach cover up over my swimsuit. I think that'll be perfect. 
The next piece is this basic black button-up. So everybody needs a basic black button-up. It's good for dressing up, dressing down. What I like about this piece though is it's a waffle knit. It's really soft waffle knit material and I've never seen that in a button-up. So I think I would pair this probably with like a flowy plaid skirt or even wear it open as a little overshirt. I don't know if it's showing up very well in the camera, but it's got a cute little pocket. Okay, this next piece I picked obviously because of the color. It is absolutely a beautiful, perfect, dusty pink. And you know what? This sweater I think will be perfect for the spring or even the summer because it's not a super thick knit. It also has these open parts at the shoulder and then the back is completely open as well. So I thought this was really neat and I thought I'd pick it up Pair it with a cute little floral skirt or over top of a floral dress. Perfect. Now these next two pieces I'm not going to try on because I just picked them up for t-shirt cutting. Just some plain t-shirts like I always pick up. You'll see them in a future video. Now this next piece is more of like a fall winter item. It's just this long knit turtleneck sweater dress with a cold shoulder detail. I really thought I'd like it. It's right up my alley, but once I put it on, I just really didn't like the shape on me. So I grabbed this belt, also from the thrift store. I got this belt for 50 cents, cute little black and white belt for around your waist. Fits me like a glove. And I just threw this on top, over top of the sweater dress to give it a little bit of shape, and I still didn't like it. So I think I might put this on my Poshmark or I might just donate it back. Now the next piece I am super excited about, and you might be saying, Zoe, that is an old lady sweater, and you might be right, and I don't care. I love this sweater. I love the patchwork. It looks like a quilt, and each one of these patches is a different texture as well. I'll come up close so you can really, oh, let's not blow it out here, so you can really see the texture baby pink, black, gray, and cream. I have found so many ways that I could wear this sweater. You could just dress it down with a pair of jeans or like I'm going to do is dress it up with like a little cutout black dress. It's the perfect little over jacket for the summertime and it has these cute little square buttons. I don't know if you can see them, but I really love all the little details in this piece. So I'm gonna keep this forever. All right, now this next sweater, I was looking for a long knit cardigan just like this and I really liked the color and the pattern on it. But once again, once I got home and tried it on, I just didn't like the shape on me. I tried to dress it up with a belt and it's just it just wasn't coming together. So I think I'm going to donate this one back, give somebody else a chance to grab it. So this next sweater you saw in the thrift with me, it's just a really soft knit sweater. It's kind of cropped and it has like this bat wing shape. So I really, really like it. I decided to pair it with like some cut off shorts. I think this is a perfect transition piece for spring and into summer, especially where I live where it's still snowing. I can definitely get a lot of use out of this. So these next jeans you saw in the thrift with me, they're these beautiful dark wash guest jeans and they look brand new. If you look at the patch on them, it's spotless and they have a beautiful dark wash. They don't even look like they've been washed. So I was really excited to pick these up. However, they are a 27 and they are a tiny bit too big for me. I'm really upset because I really wanted a nice pair of dark wash jeans. So these ones are going to have to go onto my Poshmark. I will list my Poshmark down in the description if you're interested in having these. All right, the next piece you can probably guess is another sweater. Now, in my local thrift store, we still have all the winter items out because it is still quite cold here. There's still some snow on the ground. So that's why I have so many sweaters. I do, however, love sweaters and wear them year round so I can get a lot of use out of them. This one, I really liked it. I think it's vintage, but I can't tell for sure because this brand is still around, but I just because of the shape and the size of it, the way it fits, I think it's vintage, like from the 90s. I really, really like this sweater. It's a beautiful, thick knit burgundy, just goes with everything. And I decided to pair this just with some jeans. 
like with half tucked up into some jeans. I think that would look really cute, but it would also look really cute half tucked up into a skirt. Another piece that I'm super excited for for spring is this blue button-up shirt with pockets on it. You can dress it up, dress it down. I think I'm going to pair this with some bike shorts and a crop top and just make it a little more feminine by tying it in the front. But uh, this piece will also look really good as like an over shirt over top of like a little dress or some shorts. I think it's the perfect item for spring summer. Now this next piece, I was thinking the exact same thing, just a nice little button up to wear as an overshirt, but this one unfortunately is just too big for me. I picked this up in the men's section thinking it would be the perfect oversized fit, but it's just too oversized, so I'm going to give this one to my husband. So this last piece is really cool. It's just like the material of a regular hoodie or pullover sweater, but it has these beautiful puff sleeves and turtleneck collar. I also really like the nude color. It'll just go with everything. And I think you can dress this one up and dress it down as well. You could wear it over some jeans, maybe tied in a little knot because I kind of wish it was cropped as a casual piece, or you can like tuck it into a nice pencil skirt to make it a little bit more classy. I'm thinking I might crop this with my sewing machine or just cut it because I think the length is just a tiny bit long on my little torso. Oh, one more thing I completely forgot about was this nude clutch and everybody needs a clutch. This one I was thinking about DIYing something like crystals or maybe doing like a tattoo design on it. I'm not quite sure yet. I might just keep it as is because it goes with everything, but I really like it beautiful on the inside, no marks, no scuffs, perfect condition, and this was a dollar. All right, so that is it. I got 18 pieces, and each clothing item and each pair of shoes were $2. The belt was 50 cents, so I paid, I think it was $32.50 altogether, which I think is an excellent deal. Anyway, let me know which piece was your favorite, which outfit you liked, and I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, or if you have any questions, be sure to let me know, and if you're looking for more content, check out my other social media, all at North at all. You can subscribe to this channel by clicking here, or watch another video right over here. Thanks for watching!